Season 1 of Succession follows the Roy family, owners of a global media empire which encompasses a movie studio, news network, theme parks, and just about everything else under the sun. The family patriarch is Logan Roy, who runs the Waystar Royco company and has an extremely tense and fraught relationship with his children. He plans on making his current wife Marcia his successor, and he blindsides his heir apparent son Kendall by refusing to step down as CEO, a job Kendall was to take over the very next day. On his 80th birthday, Logan suffers a stroke, throwing the entire future of the company into jeopardy. Kendall Roy is furious over his father's decision to remain CEO and begins plotting to stage a company coup. Unfortunately, Kendall is struggling with his own demons, namely a worsening drug problem. Kendall thinks Logan's age and declining health are leading to questionable business decisions and he should therefore be ousted. One of those questionable business decisions is Logan firing his longtime friend and business business partner Frank to hire on his youngest son Roman as the new COO. Roman is obnoxious and immature, and lacks the focus and ideas needed to properly lead a company. In fact, he's got a history of failing spectacularly at every position he's previously held within the company. Logan's only daughter Shiv largely stays out of the drama of the family business. She's a political consultant working for presidential candidate Gil Evis, who is publicly against Waystar Royco's attempted takeover of local news and their Fox News-like network ATN. Although she is working for a public rival of her family's company, Shiv is engaged to Tom Wamsgans, who heads Waystar Royco's Parks Division. Working under Tom in the Parks Division is cousin Greg. Greg is a bit of a bumbling stoner who means well, but is completely out of his depth in the cutthroat billion-dollar business world. Despite this, Greg is savvy enough to stumble his way up the corporate ladder by being in the right place at the right time to uncover a lot of company secrets. Notably, he and Tom discover a massive cover-up on the Waystar Royco-owned Bright Star cruise ships involving sexual assault and murder on the high seas. Logan's eldest son, and his only from his first marriage, is Connor Roy. Connor stays out of the company politics and instead resides on a ranch, living a libertine lifestyle. But he's just as messed up as the rest of his family, having an inflated sense of self-worth, pretentiousness, and illusions of grandeur. He also happens to be paying a young escort named Willa to be his girlfriend. Throughout Season 1, the Roy children stage a united front against their father and his wife, Marsha. Kendall tries to stage a vote of no confidence against Logan amongst the Waystar Royco board members, but after missing the meeting due to being caught up in traffic and Roman bending to the will of his father, Logan remains CEO and ousts Kendall from the company. This further sends Kendall's life into disarray, but he continues to try to take Logan down from the outside. This season culminates at the wedding of Shiv and Tom. At the reception, Shiv confesses to Tom that she has been cheating on him with fellow political consultant Nate. Despite this revelation, the newly married couple manage to work things out. Meanwhile, Connor decides in all of his self-aware glory to run for President of the United States, as he had become interested in politics at a very young age. And Roman, who was responsible for overseeing a Waystar Royco rocket launch, sees his plans literally go up in flames. And then there's Kendall, who has made plans to overthrow Logan via a hostile takeover with his old friend Stewie and Logan's business rival Sandy Furness. Kendall finally gets the upper hand on Logan, but when his father lashes out at him in anger, Kendall goes off in search of drugs to cope with his emotions. This results in Kendall getting into a car accident, resulting in the death of his drug contact, a waiter at Shiv and Tom's wedding. Kendall flees the scene, but the next day Logan reveals that Kendall's hotel keycard was found in the car, linking him to the accident. Logan agrees to help cover up the crime if Kendall pulls out of the hostile takeover. And so Kendall is left a blubbering, crying fool and forced to let his father clean up the giant mess he has made. The season then ends with Logan firmly in power of Waystar Royco and Kendall falling back in line as a company yes man. Waystar Royco might be a massive tech and media company, but they've got nothing on the entertainment value of this video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is an extremely fun and addictive mobile game that over 80 million people have already downloaded. With a super detailed tactical RPG battle system, PvP and PvE battles, awesome visuals, over 700 unique champions to choose from, and so much more. Raid is celebrating its fourth anniversary right now, and if I was going to invite some champions to the party, I'd definitely choose Astralon to cut the cake, Gurg go to smash the pinata, helmet for some magical entertainment, and Brockus cause that guy's just a party animal. 
And because of the epic 4th anniversary celebrations, Raid is giving players dedicated offers, free gifts, promo codes, events, and a brand new fusion event where you can get your hands on anniversary themed legendary champions. Plus, take a trip down memory lane with a recap video of your stats in Raid. Yeah, Raid's doing recap videos now, so I guess there's no need for me anymore. Oh, and for Amazon Prime members that just unlocked Genbo, keep an eye out for the next drop with some powerful Savage gear. It's available from March. March 2nd to March 30th. New players can use my link in the description or scan the QR code for a free starter pack containing all of this in-game loot. So go and download Raid Shadow Legends, it's a whole lot of fun. Now let's get back to the recap. Season 2 of Succession finds the Roy family just as dysfunctional as ever. Following his drug-fueled night at Shiv and Tom's wedding that resulted in the death of waiter Andrew Dodds, Kendall Roy finds himself in rehab. But bending to the wills of his father Logan, Kendall leaves rehab early to publicly side with his father in a televised interview to cover for his previous hostile takeover attempt. And though Logan has wrestled Kendall back into submission, things are not looking good for the Waystar Royco empire. Financial advisor Jamie Laird suggests selling the company, and Logan calls his family together to discuss the idea. Of course, this dysfunctional clan can't come to an agreement, but secretly Logan promises Shiv the highly coveted CEO position and promotes her husband Tom to ATN's Chair of Global Broadcast News. With the promise of CEO in her sights, Shiv quits her job as Chief of Staff of the presidential campaign of Gil Evis. And as for Tom, he of course brings along punching bag slash maybe best friend Greg to his new position at ATN. Roman Roy spends the season trying to better his position in the company, enrolling in a Waystar management training program. He also grows closer to Logan's trusted general counsel Jerry throughout the season as she gives him advice on how to better leverage himself in the company. And eventually, he becomes a attracted to her sexually. As for Connor Roy, he's still funding the lifestyle and artistic endeavors of his salaried girlfriend Willa, and he's still moving ahead with his presidential campaign on his platform of abolishing all taxes. You stay you, Connor. Never change. In order to save Waystar Royco and appease their shareholders, Logan devises a plan to acquire media giant Pierce Global Media, or PGM. Logan and Kendall meet with PGM CEO Rhea Jarrell and offer $24 billion for the company. But if the deal is to go through, the Roys will have to impress the Pierce family. And so off they go to the Pierce family estate. Logan instructs all of his children on how to behave, but of course none of them can. Shiv and Connor's personalities clash with the Pierce children, and Kendall ends up doing drugs and having sex with Naomi Pierce, a fellow recovering addict who wants to make sure the Roy's acquisition fails. At a tense and uncomfortable dinner, Pierce family matriarch Nan asks Logan point blank who he plans to name as the new CEO, and when he refuses, Shiv stands up to say it will be her. The next day, Nan agrees to the acquisition on the condition that it will be Shiv as CEO, but Logan refuses. Despite this, the Pierce family still decides to move forward with the deal. At an international business conference called Argestes, the Roys plan to finalize their acquisition agreement with the Pierce family. But this all blows up when New York Magazine publishes an expose on Waystar Royco's Bright Star Cruise Line division. And although the entire division was marred with cover-ups of sexual assaults and murder, the expose was contained only focusing on Bright Star's former head, the recently deceased Mo Lester McClintock. PGM CEO Rhea still wants the deal to go through, but Nan pulls out and fires Rhea for siding with the Roys. After the crew's debacle, Waystar shareholders are understandably nervous, and Sandy and Stewie try to use this unease to aid their takeover bid. And so Logan must go into damage control. He brings along Rhea to aid in strategy, and the two spend the night together, leading to Logan's children having suspicions about Rhea's true motives. When Sandy and Stewie run news stories suggesting that the waiter Andrew Dodd's death was spurred by Logan's bullying, Logan forces Kendall to accompany him to the Dodd's family residence to sort out the matter. This this understandably shakes up a remorseful and distraught Kendall, who later returns to the Dodds residence to offer them money. Meanwhile, Tom, previously the successor to Mo Lester as the head of Brightstar and the company's likeliest scapegoat if necessary, 
tasks Greg with burning all of the documents that pertain to the crew's scandals. Greg burns most but not all of the documents, secretly saving a few in case he needed them later. When Rhea throws a party for Logan honoring Waystar's 50th anniversary, Shiv grows even more suspicious that Rhea is angling to be named the new CEO. The party is a huge success with totally great live performances, and Logan does plan on announcing that Rhea will be his successor. Upon finding out that a whistleblower is going to publicly expose all of the cruise line scandals, Shiv gives her father her blessing in naming Rhea CEO, knowing that Rhea would have to face the brunt of the fallout. And so Logan officially announces Rhea as CEO on the eve of the full Bright Star scandal going public. Oh, and do we forget about Logan's wife Marsha? Because he seemed to forget about her too, and she's understandably upset by this whole Rhea situation. Once the full details are announced publicly by the whistleblower, Rhea backs out of the CEO position, and the Roy family are called by Gil Evis to testify in a Senate hearing. Tom completely fumbles his questioning, and Logan tries to throw Kendall under the bus to deflect blame from himself. Shiv manages to pay off and convince a key witness to back out of testifying against the Roys, but despite this minor success, Logan confesses to Shiv that a blood sacrifice would be needed to appease shareholders. And so the Roy family all come together on a yacht to debate and shift blame over who should take the fall. Roman, who had attempted to woo wealthy Azerbaijani investor Edward Asgarov into securing funds that would allow Waystar to go private, confesses to his father that although an agreement was made, it was likely illegitimate. Shiv at first joins in with the majority in wanting to throw Tom under the bus. But after a confrontation between the married couple where Tom voices his resentment in the way Shiv treats him, she goes to Logan to beg him to spare Tom. Finally, Logan settles on Kendall to take the fall. All season long, Logan has used and abused Kendall to do his bidding, and the broken Kendall has agreed to do whatever is asked of him. And so Kendall flies to New York to hold a press conference in which he is to take full responsibility for the Bright Star scandals. But as all eyes are on Kendall, he instead foregoes his planned speech to place all of the blame on Logan, and alerts reporters that an accompanying Greg has all of the documents needed on hand to prove Logan's involvement in the settlements and cover-ups. Of course, everyone is shocked by Kendall's public revelations. Everyone except for Logan, who, while watching the press conference from his yacht, can't help but crack a faint smile at the audacity of his son. In Season 3 of Succession, Logan decides to temporarily step back as CEO of Waystar Royco as his team of advisors figure out the best way to combat the cruise line accusations. Meanwhile, Kendall takes the opportunity to once again make a play for the CEO position. He attempts to bring his sibling Shiv, Roman, and Con Honor to his side, but they refuse to partner with Kendall if he were to be named CEO. And so, after reconciling with Marsha, Logan has nearly his entire family on his side to battle Kendall for control of Waystar Royco. Despite remaining loyal to her father, Shiv is passed over as the interim CEO, and the title is instead given to Jerry. This greatly bolsters Roman's position in the company, as he had been trained by Jerry into becoming a competent businessman, and the two continue to share a strange sexual tension filled bond. Logan also scares Greg into joining his side, threatening severe legal consequences for illegally obtaining company documents. In response, Greg's grandfather Ewan donates his entire estate, which was to be Greg's inheritance, to Greenpeace. Tom, meanwhile, offers to take the fall for the cruise line scandal and go to prison, in an effort to prove his loyalty and usefulness to Logan. Despite this sacrifice, Tom's relationship with Shiv remains as cold as ever. As Logan solidifies the loyalty of his closest family and allies, Kendall makes moves of his own. He once again aligns with Stewie and Sandy Furness, now including Sandy's daughter who is also named Sandy, to take control of Waystar Royco. Kendall also hires a PR firm to rehabilitate his public image, but constantly goes against their counsel thinking he knows what's best. The fracture between Kendall and his family grows wider when Shiv publishes an open letter exposing Kendall's struggles with addiction and his lack of a relationship relationship with his children. The public war between Kendall and Logan begins to worry the company's shareholders, putting the position of every Roy family member in jeopardy. In response, Logan's side is forced to form an uneasy alliance with Stewie and Sandy, giving them more power in the company, but allowing Logan to retain power and cut Kendall out of the deal. Although the shareholders are now content, the future of Waystar Royco is still in jeopardy due to the DOJ investigation into the crew scandal. Logan tries to pressure the President of the United States into helping get the investigation tossed, but instead the President decides to not run for re-election. 
Knowing the company's future depended on a strong relationship with the president, Logan and his team traveled to a political fundraiser to determine which conservative candidate they would use their vast power and resources to get elected. Despite Shiv's protests, Logan decides to back Roman's choice Jared Minkin, a controversial far-right fascist. Fortunately for Logan, Kendall's testimony to the DOJ goes poorly, and the documents aren't enough for any serious convictions, leading to Waystar Royco being able to end the investigation with a settlement. Tom is relieved by the news that he won't be going to prison, but his desire to start a family with Shiv is rebuffed, further straining their relationship. At Kendall's lavish 40th birthday party, Logan sends his new favorite child, Roman, to make a series of deals. First, he offers to buy out Kendall's shares of Waystar Royco for $2 billion, which would permanently excise Kendall from both the business and the family. Roman also uses the party as a chance to negotiate a deal with Lucas Matson, CEO of a company called Gojo that Logan wants to acquire. Matson despises Logan and refuses the deal, but Roman manages to successfully convince Matson to reconsider. Everything comes to a head in Tuscany, where the Roys arrive for the wedding of Kendall, Shiv, and Roman's mother, Caroline. Connor proposes to Willa in an effort to deflect from questions about her past as a sex worker. Shiv confesses to Tom she doesn't actually love him, which completely devastates him. Roman manages to strike a deal with Matson, who rejects the acquisition but proposes merging Waystar Royco and Gojo. Logan accepts the deal and praises Roman for his success. But Roman's high is immediately deflated when he accidentally sends a nude photo of himself intended for Jerry to his father instead. Logan viciously lashes out at Roman and contemplates firing Jerry, but Roman convinces him not to. A defeated Kendall meets with his father to accept the $2 billion buyout, but Logan takes back the offer and refuses, sending Kendall into an emotional spiral. As Gojo's market cap continues to rise and Waystar's continues to drop, Matson gains a better negotiating position and instead offers to buy Waystar Royco, placing himself as CEO and offering Logan a very large exit package. Having lost faith in Roman, Logan dismisses him from the deal and decides to negotiate with Matson alone. Roman and Shiv, furious that Logan is attempting to sell their company and legacy, decide to finally join up with Kendall to defeat their father. They find Kendall at his lowest point ever, who tearfully confesses to them his involvement in Andrew Dodd's death. Roman and Shiv comfort their brother as best as a Roy can and convince him to rejoin the fight against Logan. The three unified siblings race to stop the merger, having earned company veto power during Logan's divorce from Caroline years prior. On their way to Logan, Shiv calls to inform Tom of all the chaos that was about to unfold. Tom takes this opportunity to align with Optibu's friend Greg in an effort to set themselves up for success of their own. When Kendall, Shiv, and Roman arrive to confront their father, Logan reveals that he had just struck a deal with Caroline to strip the siblings of their veto power, leaving them completely defeated. As the siblings wonder how Logan knew of their planned revolt, Tom reveals himself as a traitor, betraying his unloving wife to earn Logan's favor. 